Well, a group of special students are getting the chance of a lifetime. They're just completing a unique summer program at UCLA. It's dedicated to helping foster children beat the odds. KCAL 9's Amy Johnson shows us how the students are getting a jump start on the road to success. Salad right here. 15-year-old Geneva learned to cook healthier meals, just one of the skills she and 28 other foster children learned at the annual First Star UCLA Bruin Guardian Summer Academy. This program means a lot to me. Like I appreciate Peter every day because this is my gateway open to college. The program was started last summer by Peter Samuelson. And honestly, it's like watching flowers grow. The movie producer and philanthropist wanted to help foster yeah, children baby. strive to get into college. Only 3% of foster youth get, end up with a four-year degree. There's no good reason for it. It's not their fault. They're no more or less intelligent than any other half a million American youth. What's done is that our system shunts them around like cardboard boxes. Samuelson teamed up with UCLA, where the teens will spend the next four summers living on campus for four to five weeks, working on academics, being tutored, and learning life skills. And it seemed like it was a marriage made in heaven, you know, the capacity to come together and create a program that would focus on academic preparation and readiness for foster youth. Their studies are also earning these 10th graders college credit. I love school and just the fact that I get to get um, five college credits like really means a lot to me because not a lot of people get that opportunity. Along with the credit comes hope. My dream is, has always been to come to UCLA because I would never thought I would make it up here. Like this college is so big and like it's really like popular so like I would never think that I would make it this far. They saw firsthand that dreams do come true. One of their peer counselors was also in foster care, graduated from UCLA, and is preparing for law school. I love to be here, be an example, and showing them that, you know, there is a foster kid who has made it, who has, you know, beat the statistics, and, you know, I want to I be that shining light for them and let them know that they can do it. There is a similar academy in Rhode Island and a future program planned next year in Washington, D.C. Samuelson's goal is to create 100 academies in 10 years. We're going to change the face of foster care. We're going to get these kids into university and they're going to be doctors and business people and singers and dancers and architects and all the rest of it. In Westwood, Amy Johnson, KCAL 9 News.